what is up guys i know it's been a minute since my last upload and i wanted to apologize to you for my lack of content but to be honest with you i just been just been a little bit depressed uh last few months you know the weather in pittsburgh gets pretty crappy in the winter there's not much car stuff going on you know covid still going on that's depressing and the, the workflow at subaru has uh really slowed down so uh you know all those things compiled on top of each other made me not really want to do much plus there wasn't really much going on for me to film uh but today it's beautiful 71 sunny uh work started picking up so i'm happy about that uh, but i still really haven't gotten the green light to start doing car reviews here at subaru and uh, nothing's really changed on the subarus for 21 except for the 2.5 liter engine is now optional on the crosstrack other than that you know everything's pretty much stayed the same but i still would like to do some uh subaru reviews for you guys uh but instead we're gonna head back down to moon township ford uh you know where i was a technician for 19 years where i started my channel because ford is doing a lot of big things uh so we're gonna head down there and see what they have for us all right so we're heading down to the ford that's only about i don't know maybe a quarter mile uh from moon township subaru where i work now so I mean, I know they got the Bronco Sport, the 2021 F-150 is completely redesigned. Uh, they got the new Mustang Mach-E. So they have a lot of things down there. And I was speaking with them and they are gonna you know, let me continue doing some reviews. Uh, but like I said, I've kind of been slow, depressed. I haven't been down there, you know, to see those guys. So I stopped down there uh, last week uh, to talk to the sales manager. And he said, yes, I could absolutely start doing some reviews. Uh, so we're going to go down there, check out their inventory, and hopefully we'll get some reviews together later this week. All right, here we are at Moon Township Ford, and here is the Fighter Jet Gray 2021 Mustang Mach 1. It's my first time seeing it in person, and it is awesome. It's got the sweet orange Brembo brake calipers, Michelin Pilot Super Sport 4s on there. The Mach 1 logo, got the orange stripes down the side. Here's a look at the sticker price. $59,995. You can see it's got about $7,000 in options. Now you see this one has the Tremec 6-speed like the GT350, not the MT82 of the regular Mustang GT, which is pretty much a piece of crap. 275 4019s out back. Got the sweet five spoke wheels. They're specific to the Mach 1. Got this cool matte black spoiler. Got the Mach 1 badging on the trunk lid. Got the four exhaust outlets. And the cool splitter in the back. Got the front end. It's got the uh, fake fog light cutouts. The cool front splitter. Front end on this car is really aggressive looking. It's got the nice Mach 1 stripe on the hood there with the hood vents. All right, let's check out the interior. Got the Recaro seat option in here. Those things are awesome. This has the six-speed Tremec. They did away with the MT82, which is garbage. Start it up real quick. It's got the fully digital display, 401A package. That's a must-have in my opinion. This one's still in transport mode. But uh, everything else is typical Mustang. GT Premium in here, which is not too bad to say the least. We'll go through some of the options here.
You see how the tack changes when you put it in Sport Plus? That's pretty awesome. I want it. Here's a look at the 5.0 V that puts out 480 horsepower. You can see it has the intake like the GT350 and the Bullet had. It's got the nice Mach 1 strip tower brace. It's a good looking engine. That V8 rumble. And right next to the Mach 1, they have the all new fully electric Mustang Mach E, which I'll hopefully be doing a review of very soon. I actually haven't even really seen one of these yet in person, so this is my first time checking one out. It's pretty awesome looking. Still not sure why they went with the Mach 1, or sorry, the Mustang name on it, but it's a pretty cool car nonetheless. So Ford's been doing a lot of big things. They have a Bronco Sport. I'm hoping to get down here to review. We'll do a quick walk around to one of those. And also the 2021 F-150. Now I've ridden in uh, Mike from Auto Vlogs Lariat and it's super sweet, but I haven't driven one myself. So hopefully we can make that happen here in the next few days. Not sure if this guy's unlocked, but it's got a little push button here. Oh, it is. Look at that dash, that's crazy. Wow, that is a humongous screen. Perforated leather looks really nice. Oh, look at that panoramic moonroof, holy heck. Well, that's probably not a moonroof, it's just a glass roof, but whatever. But yeah, these seats look nice with the perforated leather. It's got the rotary shift knob. I cannot wait to drive one of these things. Let's see how much room's in the back seat. Not too bad. This is really nice. Let's see how I'm not sure how to open the trunk. The low floor is pretty high. I'm sure that has something to do with the batteries, but still a decent amount of space and you can fold the seats down. Mustang Mach-E. So here's the 21 Bronco Sport in the Big Ben trim. This is actually my first time seeing one of these up close. It's not too bad looking. The stickers are $31,635. It's got the 1.5 liter three cylinder EcoBoost, which I have not driven myself, but I heard it's pretty potent for what it is. So here's some of the options on this guy. I really like this color. This is the Area 51 shade of blue. I like those wheels, those are sharp. front end of this car is probably my favorite part. The headlights are pretty cool. I like the Bronco logo in the grill. So like I've said, I'm hoping to uh, do a review on the Bronco Sport and the Mach-E. I doubt I'll get to drive that Mach-1, um, but also the F-150. So let's do a quick walk around on one of those. So this one is probably the biggest talk of the town. This is the 21 F-150 XLT with the power boost, the hybrid powertrain with the built-in generator in the bed let's do a quick walk around to this guy it's got the two-tone paint and the chrome package it's not crazy different looking from the old one but you can definitely tell uh, you know some styling in the front and the rear here's a look at the generator in the bed that thing's supposed to be really really powerful bed lights as well, and bed liner. Let's see what this one stickers at. 59185 dollars Take a look 
some of these options. See that power boost is a $4,495 option. That's almost diesel territory. The base price of this is $43,000. This one has a whopping $15,000 in options. Like I said, we'll be doing a review of this, the Bronco Sport, and the Mach E, hopefully within the next week. I like the dark blue paint on this one, it's pretty sharp. All right, so unfortunately, that's all I have for you today as far as content, but I think we got to look at some pretty cool new cars from Ford. And hopefully as soon as this weekend, I will be back down here to do a review on one or four of these cars. So stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for checking out my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Check out my Facebook page and have a great day.